Okay, this is an update to uh, my do-it-yourself LED aquarium light. I got it all apart right now. I uh, left the wing nuts on where the uh, light connects into the LED driver. And I have two separate 12 volt DC digital time switchers. And the reason why I have two is each one is going to connect a uh, different LED strip. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make it like my commercial light that I bought from my 29 gallon, uh, which allows you to do white and blue separately for timers. And this is actually going to be an upgrade over that because this timer actually has 17 different on and off uh, cycles you can program. However, I'll only be using one, okay? So um, I'll be setting one of these for a 12 hour period just for the white. Um, actually, I'm sorry, a 12 hour period just for the blue. So the blue lights will stand for 12 hours. And for the white one, I'm thinking uh, nine out of those 12 hours. So the blue, the white will turn off after nine hours of use. And the blue will be like a, a, a nighttime light, just blue in the tank for another three, okay? Uh, first thing you wanna do is uh, get these timers and I'll leave a link on the uh, description to this video, okay? But they have these connectors and the, the directions that come with it are pretty um, hard to understand. Like they say power and this and that. So um, I decided to solder on lead wires that I'll connect together with wire connectors. <laughs> and the uh, reason why I did that was if I soldered the LED driver and stuff directly to the timer, let's say that the uh, digital time switch like broke on me, died, um, I would have to desolder it and this and that. And it'll just be quicker and easier if I ever have to do maintenance on this by doing wire connectors. So the way that you want to solder wires on is you want a black wire here, black wire there, and that's on the switch side. And then on the power side, you want a red wire there and a black wire all the way on the side. And that way you'll know which wires to connect to which. Uh, first step, I'm doing both timers. I'm gonna connect all the red wires together, like every single red wire. So this red wire and this red wire on the timers the red wire coming out of the LED driver, you're gonna connect that with it. And you're also gonna connect the two red wires coming out of the LED strips. You're gonna connect all five of those wires together and then we'll get on to the next step. Okay, so again, once again, connect all the red wires. Red wire from there, red wire from here. Those are the two timers. The red wire from the LED driver, which is right here. And also the red wires coming out of the LED strips, which I pulled through just to get the wires through. So there should be five red wires all connected together. Next step is to wire up the black ones. Now on the back of each timer, you'll have three black wires. Um, this one right here, second from the left, that's the one that you're not gonna worry about right now. You're gonna worry about the ones on the far sides. Those have to hook up together on both timers. So that's gonna be a one wire connector. And that's all you have to do basically is hook up all the black wires. So the two on the ends of each timer have to connect together along with the black on the LED driver. Okay. All right. We're going to do that next and then I'll show you the next step. So we just hooked up all the five of those wires. Okay. The ends, the black wires on the ends of each timer connect together. Okay along with the black wire of the LED driver, just to review that, okay? The last thing to do is you're gonna hook up the power side, the switch side, see how it says switch? You're gonna connect up that switch one to the black wire of the LED strip you wanna control with that timer. So this black wire will go to the blue one, and this other timer, the switch wire, okay? Again, it says switch on it. Let's the inside one right here that's going to connect to the white one so each timer will connect a different LED strip okay just to review the last step you take the inner black switch wire so that says switch okay now it's a little bit blurry but you take that and you connect it to the black of the LED strip that you want to control and what I did in advance was I put a W on this one to say hey when after I hooked up to the white black the white LED strip black wire, this one controls the white strip of lights. And this other one again, you gotta take the switch wire, the black switch wire on the right, the inside black switch wire, this one right here. Okay. And you can hook it up to the black wire 
of the LED strip you want to control. And I hooked that up to the black uh, wire of the blue LED strip lights. Okay, everything's hooked up. Um, these have a manual on switch right here. If I just push that. Uh, again, this is the white one. And my lights are right there. So I'll push that on. And you can see that only the white lights up. The blue, which is over there, is not lit up. So this timer is good. It's controlling just the white ones. And I turned it. The manual switch is a little weirded out. There you go. So I just turned it off. And now we'll try the blue. So we know that they're on separate timers. Again, the manual switch is right here. Uh, B for blue. Turning it on. And I switched it on. And the blue lights turn on. Um, those manual switches are a little... I mean, they work. You know, it just takes a little... I guess you gotta get the right angle on pushing them. But only the blue lights are working. Okay, and not the white. Now I'm going to turn the white on with the blue, and this is what we'll turn on for the daylight. Uh, blue is good for photosynthesis, and the white will be on to uh, give the tank more light, and it also has the full spectrum. Okay, and then at nighttime, the white one will turn off, and it'll only have blue. So that way it'll be like night lights, like a moonlight. Okay, all right, um, I'm going to put all these wires back in there. Um... I'm gonna to try to find some way of mounting timers either on the back of the plastic hood or on the side. But it looks like I might have to go with the back because the wires are all on this side. And uh, let me turn this off actually so you can see better. I'm probably gonna have to mount them on the back right here so that way you can see better. But you don't wanna put them all the way on the bottom because remember, this is probably gonna go in your hood or something. Okay, so leave a little space. Try to mount the timer more on the top than the bottom. And uh, all right. Gonna stick all these wires in, try to make it as ni nice and neat as possible. Uh, program the timers, and then I'll take a, we'll take a look at it together on what it looks like with just the white and the blue. I'll do the manual things, but just know that you could set 17 different on and off cycles. So these things are pretty cool. Not, not that you want to do that, obviously. Um, most aquariums need 12, 12 hours of light if you have live plants especially, which I have live plants in mind. So, all right, I'll get back to you once I put it all together. Okay, put it all back together. Um, I made sure I took the LED strips out, again, because I like to have them overlap. If you're paying for the LEDs, so you might as well have them all out, okay? Fit the wires through like normal on the LED strips. I fit everything else underneath. And the only thing that I'm pondering here is I had to do the wires, the timers, which I stuck on the back of the light, okay? And they're off by like a half of a second, but I'm just gonna have to live with that because I'm human, okay? It's not plugged in yet. But we're going to see if these wires cause any problem when I put it on to the plastic hood, which is right there. Okay. So let's go put it on. We'll see what happens. Put the hood back on. Um, there's not a really big difference. It actually fits in pretty good. Timers are back here. Okay. And once again, I'm going to do this manually, but uh, you can program the timer after. Both of them are on right now. Yeah. Pretty bright. I'm turn the blue one off. Oh, I turned the white one off. All right, here's the white. And I'm touching the manual switches. Here's the blue. Okay. They're both on. All right. So let's see what they look like. This is what it looks like with both of them on. I'm going to put it right on. And as you can see, it still fits on there perfectly. You know, you know, I mean, it's a little raised, but it's not that bad. So that's what it looks like with white and blue. Okay. Let's try just blue. Just blue. It gives you, I, I just, this video doesn't do it justice, but it's just blue. It's a nightlight right now. This video is still not doing that much justice, but it's totally blue in the tank. Uh, it actually looks brighter right now in the video than when it really is. It's a really dark, deep blue. Okay, so I'm going to program the blue one to stay on again for 12 hours straight. And the white one's going to be on for approximately, I'm, I'm going to try this out, 9 hours out of the 12. So the last three hours of my lights being on are basically just going to be blue like a night light. And the white light will be mixed with the blue for photosynthesis during the day for nine hours. Okay? Just like the commercial light I bought. Much cheaper. Just had to buy, um, you know, you saw the previous video hopefully with the do-it-yourself LED uh, strips to make an aquarium light. And then uh, you get two timers, hook them up the way I showed you. And then you have control over the, bl the blue and the white separately. So, uh, yeah, glad I did it. It's, it's, and I'm going to probably upgrade this one, too, 
the blue and white also. Right now it's just uh, the normal do-it-yourself LED strip one that I showed on my previous video. So uh, good project to do, much cheaper than trying to buy one. One last comparison, this is with the white and the blue on, and this is just with the blue on. And again, I don't think my camera does it justice, but uh, it's a deeper blue than that. It's really deep, actually. Um, yeah, I think totally worth it. And uh, you can see the timers in the back there. They don't jet out that much. 